Is Unison's new Drum Monkey drum sequencer worth $297 or three payments of $129? The short answer is no. Disclaimer, I do not have a copy of Drum Monkey myself. I cannot afford it. All the information I have has come from reading the website as well as watching reviews of others to see how the plugin operates. With all that being said, let's hop into it. The first question to ask yourself is what you're looking for inside of a drum sequencer. Most DAWs come with their own sequencers such as FL Studio or Ableton 11 and those sequencers themselves come with plenty of their own features for creating unique and random drum fills. One of the unique things that Drum Monkey offers is genre specific frameworks for beats. This means that you can look for a country or a disco or a future bass type of beat and randomize it to put it in a pattern yourself. According to Drum Monkey, it uses its own powerful algorithm to make randomized drum loops for all these different genres. This is something that I would not find helpful unless I was unfamiliar with the genre I was working with or I was experiencing beat block. This algorithm is supposed to be what makes Drum Monkey unique and what makes Drum Monkey stand out from the other sequencers. So if you have trouble working within certain genres, this is the one thing that Drum Monkey might have to offer you. It also offers 3000 plus sample factory library. It offers you a piano roll, which is something that FL Ableton will also have. The piano roll is simple and intuitive. I love that there's an option to drag and drop the MIDI, so you could just bring it into your piano roll with whatever DAW you're working with. There's also an option to drag and drop its audio directly, which is really cool. Basically everything you need in a simple, straightforward piano roll. The built-in saturator is similar to something like Sausage Fattener, and you can use it to saturate and fatten your sounds. However, most DAWs will have their own individual saturator separate from the drum sequencer, so give you a lot more control. They offer envelope shaping and panning, which is something that any DAW will also have standard in their drum sequencer, but nonetheless, it's something that you definitely want to have inside your drum sequencer. Since I can't afford this plugin myself, there will be a link to Drum Monkey in Action on Larry O's channel. Shout out Larry O, you are the man. Today I'm going to show you how to get quick new drum ideas using Drum Monkey in FL Studio. You get me! First I'm just going to open up Drum Monkey in the channel rack, and you can see here that you can choose from a bunch of different genres. I'm going to choose Trap for now. You can choose between a 4 bar and an 8 bar loop. Once you set those settings, hit this big red button, and you're going to instantly get random drum patterns that match that genre. This one sounds good. If you want to swap a sample out, just click on it, go to this list. You're going to get a whole bunch of different snare drums or whatever sample you're looking for. Once you find one, double click and it'll... I think that in a lot of use cases, it is worth buying. And if you have the extra cash, then 100%. But I think for the average producer and for somebody like me, I will not get enough use case out of it and find enough value. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to end up using it or if this is a pass for you as well. Shouts out Unison for making this drum sequencer. And I hope everybody has a good day. Love you guys.